welcome to the first episode in customer relationship management today we're going to be starting with customer relationship management where it all begins we have different business orientations and it ranges from product orientation production orientation sales orientation customer or what we call market orientation now product orientation businesses believe that customers choose products with the best quality performance design or features these are often highly innovative organizations they believe that they have to lead visionary products to the market. Examples of such organizations are like Apple, a company famous for envisioning products before consumers knew they really needed them. We have Netflix, although technically a service, Netflix made companies like Blockbusters up obsolete by giving customers easy access to movies and television shows. Businesses that favors the product orientation philosophy assumes that product quality is a determinant of demand in the market. In other words, they believe that customers will purchase a product based on superior quality, performance, or feature, regardless whether the product suits their individual preferences. Therefore, product orientation is a marketing management philosophy where promotion of high quality products is used to generate sales. Product oriented strategies focuses on customer satisfaction, customer feedback from focus groups, surveys, polls, and other market research tools to better understand what consumers want. Developing a new product to solve consumers' needs, the company must invest heavily in product research and development guided by customers need it emphasizes continuously improving and refining their offerings to ensure they remain competitive in today's consumer driven society production oriented businesses they focus on operational excellence they seek to offer the customers the best value for money time and effort consecutively they strive to keep operational costs on the low and develop standardized levels to routes to the market complexities customizations innovations are very costly and unappealing to production oriented organizations. So production oriented organizations rarely are first to market with the best new offer. They focus on innovation on supply chain optimization and simplicity. They tend to serve customers who want good enough low priced products and services. Fast food restaurants such as Burger King, McDonald's are famous examples of production orientation as they focus on producing thousands of burgers per day at low cost. If you operate one of these franchises, your objective isn't to sell the best tasting burger in town. It's, it's to provide acceptable, respectable burger at an inexpensive price that will keep the customer satisfied. The insurance industry is another example of production orientation organization. Insurance company provides a wide range of products or goods without regarding the customer's demand since their primary goal is to provide decent products at a price point that appeals to majority of customers. Ford is another an example your orientation is to manufacture cars based on their own research and quality standards and must produce vehicles that will be purchased by millions of people throughout the world the key benefits of production orientation strategy is that it constantly review and improve their product to make it the best it can be at the lowest possible price another orientation is sales orientation businesses make consumptions that if they invest heavily in advertisement selling PROs sales promotions customers will be persuaded to buy. Very often, sales orientation follows production orientation. So the company provides low-cost products that they need to be promoted heavily to avoid inventories. Examples of companies in sales orientations are companies that do what we call bugle. Buy one, get one free. I know you've heard of those. In markets, they're growing rapidly. Such an approach can promote strong market share strength and attain economics of scale. Large technology firms have promoted and emphasis on selling. These companies use aggressive selling strategies. These companies spend a large portion of their budget in advertising, in promotion of products and services. Companies rely on promotional strategies for the sales of the products that it has already produced. Let's take a look at the next one. Customer or market orientation. It shares a lot of belief that putting the customer first is the best way to go. It collects, assimilates, and uses customer and competitive information to develop best value promotion for the customer. A customer-centric firm is a learning firm that constantly adapts to customers' requirements and competitive conditions. There is evidence that customer-centric correlates strongly to business performance. A market orientation business is 
upward looking. It focuses on fulfilling its target market wants and needs to achieve success. Resultantly, any customer demand shift must be addressed and must reflect changes in products or service offering. For instance, a business with marketing orientation recognizes that customer service demands and customer relationship are continuously evolving. This is the birth of our episode, Customer Relationship Management. It is the process of acquiring, retaining, and building profitable customers. You can also say customer relationship management is a comprehensive approach for creating, maintaining, and expanding customer relationship. When we look at this methodology, you think about people. People, not from the angle of transaction, but from the angle of relationship. Sustainable, profitable relationship. CRM does not belong to just sales and marketing. It's not the sole responsibility of customer service group or customer service team, nor is it the brainchild of information technology or IT team. It's a combination and the DNA of all units to create a strong customer relationship strategy. Let's know which of these business orientations you're familiar with and which does your organization use or the combination you see often. Please comment. For more details on customer relationship management, please visit our website www.jkmichaelspm.com. See you in the next episode. Nah. See you in class. Think training? Think Jake Michaels. Think training impact? Think Jake Michaels. Bye for now.